In recent years, a certain phenomenon has been captivating the minds of many people around the world. I am of course talking about orcas, and their apparent love of attacking boats. Reports of such attacks date back to May 2020, and since then, three boats have been sank by wild orcas. Most of the attacks have been happening off the coast of Spain and Portugal, but one of the more recent cases was off the coast of Scotland. These encounters are becoming more and more common, and there's a chance that this behaviour might be spreading. There are many theories as to why the orcas are doing this, and I will be going through just a few of them today, as I will be going through three potential reasons why orcas are attacking boats. Before we start looking at the first reason why orcas may be attacking boats, I think it's important that we try to understand the orca a little better, as this will help us better understand why they are exhibiting this behaviour. The orca or the killer whale is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it is the largest member. It is the only extant species in its genus, but really the way we group orcas is under question. Orcas are one of the most widespread animals on this planet, and they differ greatly across their distribution. Orcas can be split into a few different ecotypes, and an ecotype is a distinct form or race of plant or animal occupying a particular habitat. In the North Pacific, there are three different ecotypes of orca, resident, transient, and offshore. Each one of these ecotypes differs in appearance, diet, habitat, genetics, and behaviour, and they all share at least part of each other's habitats. These different ecotypes are not known to interbreed with each other, and they all have different languages and are unable to effectively communicate with each other. So far, several distinct populations and types of orca have been documented, and it's been suggested that this species should be split into several different subspecies, or even several different species. The way we group orcas may change in the next few years, as it really is quite an interesting and confusing topic. Orcas are highly social animals, and they learn everything they know from other members of their group. They rarely go against the status quo, and most of the time they do everything that they're taught to. This is why there are some orcas that mostly eat fish and nothing else, and there are other orcas that mostly hunt marine mammals, and there are even orcas that target sharks. Even though these magnificent marine mammals will differ in shape, size, and markings, each type of killer whale is the apex predator of their ecosystem, and they simply have nothing to fear but man. They'll target other predators and members of their own family, and they're even known to take down the largest animal on this planet. In recent years, it seems like they've tried to go one better than this, and as I've already covered, they have started to sink boats. I think it's time that we move on to our first potential reason as to why orcas are attacking boats, and that is that they could be hunting humans. This first potential reason is possibly the most unlikely, as famously orcas haven't killed a single person in the wild since records began. As I've already covered, orcas are very fussy eaters, and tend to only hunt what their mothers have taught them to hunt. This is a way for the mothers to teach their young what's safe to eat, and is a very successful survival strategy. When orcas come across humans in the wild, of course they are very interested, but they are never aggressive. In captivity, it's a very different story, as famously there's been quite a few attacks and several deaths due to orcas. This behaviour is mainly due down to the orcas being kept in very cramped conditions, and these conditions have a massive negative impact on the orcas' mental health. If the orcas off the coast of Spain and Portugal wanted to hunt and eat people, it would be much easier if they did this closer to shore. Even though orcas in the area have been attacking boats since 2020, they've only sunk three boats. In most cases, they bite and attack the rudder, and once the boat has stopped moving, they leave it alone. If they wanted to sink the boat and get at the people on board, they could easily do so, as in the wild, they're known to use similar tactics to kill bowhead whales, and these whales are a lot bigger and heftier than boats. This is why it's very unlikely that orcas are attacking boats to hunt humans. And now we can move on to our next potential reason. Orcas are attacking boats to take revenge. Now this potential reason is the most captivating reason, and it seems to be the one that most media outlets are going with. It's believed that the attacks first started with a killer whale by the name of White Gladys, and supposedly she had started attacking boats because she had been hit by one. Now boat collisions are a real problem, and hundreds of thousands of animals fall victim to them each year. It's estimated that around 20,000 whales fall victim to boat collisions each year, and manatees, turtles, sharks, and dolphins are just some of the other victims. The noises from large ships also affect how certain marine mammals communicate and hunt, so it's easy to understand why orcas would hate boats. 
If White Gladys did decide to start attacking boats because she had been hit by one, it would explain why other orcas have started to do it too. The young orcas learn from the elders, and if one of the elders is attacking a boat, the younger orcas are likely to do it too. Others are suggesting that the orcas are not attacking the boats because they had been hit by them, but because they have been entangled in their fishing nets, or because the boats are affecting the number of fish in the ocean. This would explain why the orcas leave the boats alone after they have stopped moving, but it will take quite a while to understand if this is the reason why. Orcas have been captured from the wild for display in captive facilities since the 1960s. The first orca was captured off the coast of California in 1961, and it was given the name Wanda. Since then, most captures have been in the Pacific, but there were a few in the Atlantic. 48 orcas have been captured in Icelandic waters, and this includes the infamous Tilikum, who was responsible for the deaths of three people. Keeping orcas in captivity is a very cruel and controversial practice, and although it's been banned in many areas around the world, as of January 2023 there are 55 orcas in captivity worldwide. Captive orcas can't have any effect on what happens in the wild, as only one captive orca in North America has been released. His name was Keiko, and he was the orca that starred in the 1993 film Free Willy. Unfortunately, he died a year after his release in 2003, as he simply had no idea how to exist in the wild. It's possible that some of the wild orcas in the Atlantic today have witnessed an orca being captured for display in captivity. This can be a very terrifying and traumatic experience, as in some cases people even used explosives. This would explain why some orcas had a hatred towards humans and boats, but it would be very hard to prove that this is the reason why. Finally, we'll move on to our last potential reason, and that is that the orcas are just playing. Orcas are highly intelligent predators, and they're known to play with each other and their food. They're known to launch seals into the air just for the fun of it, and they're known to drag out hunts because they enjoy them. It's possible that one orca started to play with a boat, and then other orcas learnt and then started to join in. To an orca, a boat looks like quite a lot of fun, as you're easily able to push it around and break bits off. As these orcas have had no negative repercussions from playing with these boats, they have no reason to stop and this may be why they have carried on doing it. Other members of the oceanic dolphin family are known to play in this way, and they'll even use man-made objects and other animals. So far, the orca's favourite part of the boat is the rudder, and this part extends into the water and is relatively easy to break off. The orcas seem to get a lot of fun out of breaking the rudder, and in most cases they leave the boat alone after doing this. This potential reason seems to be the reason that most experts are going with, but it doesn't really help the situation. Even though the orcas may not be acting aggressively, it still puts people's lives at risk. In the future there needs to be an effective way to deter the orcas without harming them, because eventually there could be a human death attributed to an orca. Feel free to let me know why you think the orcas are doing this in the comments down below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.